playoff post kind of the num numerically diminished after this. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, anytime you lose, you're, you're not excited. Um, especially when there was opportunities out there where we know we could have played better, we could have executed better. Um, but this is the reality of it. Um, we just got to, you know, uh, learn from this game, look at the, the corrections, um, and just get back in the winning column. Um, you never know what will happen, um, where things happen at the end of the season. Um, but um, we got to control what we can control, and that's just winning the games that we got next. Um, and we got a Detroit team that um, – Beat a good team today, so they're going to be ready to go on Saturday. But um, I mean, on next Sunday. But um, we got to just play better. Uh, defensively, uh, in, I guess Wilson got going, and uh, Kittle had some catches, and mm -hmm. Samuel. I knew he was tough coming mm -hmm. in. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what? How'd y'all try to defend those three? Uh, um, well, I mean, you look at it. We didn't really defend them much. I mean, they 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 all executed us. And when those guys got the ball in their hands, um, they made plays, and uh, we did it. Um, it sucks because we knew what they were going to try to do, um, run the ball and get 19 and 85 the ball in space. Um, but we just didn't do what we needed to do to win. Um, and that's what you have to do. You got to execute at, these, at this point of the season. And um, the 49ers out executed us. Um, and we got to tip our hats to them um, because they play the game the way they wanted to play the game, and, and that's why they won today. And how do y'all pick it up and try to move on from a, a, a Allen Hutt standard? Mm, uh, well, um, we got to look at the opportunity that we have ahead. I mean, um, we got a Detroit Lion team that's coming in that's, you know, that plays everybody tough. They play hard. Um, and um, we just we just got to we got to focus on what we can focus on. Um, and that's winning the next game. Um, like I said, we don't know what will happen, but um, the only thing we can do is control what we can control, and that's um, who we play next. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Kind of talking about they played the game that they wanted to play. To that end, what role do you think explosive plays kind of played in, in the development of this game? Um, tremendously, I mean. Um, but, you know, when you're running the ball, the way you want to run the ball, then those play actions, you know, you're getting the linebackers and everybody up, and then, you know, it's that big, that big void um, in that second level, and they was hitting it. And um, they just did a good job of just, you know, like I said, doing what they wanted to do. Um, all about execution at this point of the year, and they just, like I said before, they just out-executed us. Um, did what they wanted to do, run the ball and play action, run the ball and play action. And that's how they was able to get those um, the, the big plays. Yeah. Still feel like you know things are moving in the right direction, but it, you know it stinks. Um, anytime you put everything that you have into it, and you you feel confident, you know you feel confident about the game plan. You feel confident about going out there competing with the players and your teammates. But you know, just today, just it wasn't our day. Um, as much as we wanted it to be our day, it just. It wasn't, and we had to be truthful with ourselves when we look at the film and learn from the film and just um, remember this feeling so that we can just, you know, continue to try to move in the right direction. Jerron, you only get to, you know, play one next week, but looking at where things stand, do you feel like you guys will need to win out to give yourselves any chance at the playoffs? Well, I think the only thing that we can focus on is just winning next week, you know. Um, like I said, uh, the Detroit Lions, they got a big win today. They're going to be feeling good. Um, they're going to want to finish the season the right way. Um, so the only thing we can do is just focus. We can't worry about winning out or because we got to put all our uh, attention, all our um, focus um, on the lines because um, you can't win out if you don't focus on the one, the first one. And that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to focus on the lines and focus on playing better. Um, we got to play better than we did today. Um, and um, that's all that matters right now. When in the next one? Are you comfortable with the new coverage call styles? Yeah. Um, well, uh, COVID protocols. I mean, it's going to change. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. My my only focus is on 
being available to my team. Um, and whatever the protocols are, whether I agree with them or not, um, I'm going to abide by them just because um, I'm trying to make sure I'm available to my team uh, through the week, during practice, and on Sunday. It's been kind of a crazy week with COVID. Yeah. Do you feel, I mean, does it make you worry that it's the end of the season could get a little wonky in terms of scheduling and just being able to finish? Uh, well, you know, you can't worry about that. We got so much to worry about from like who we're playing, personnel, um, making sure um, we're having a good game plan. So, I mean, I try not to worry about that stuff. Um, Art does a good job of giving the information that the NFL uh, uh, gives us. And um, I just try to take it day by day and just worry about the things that I can control. Without a doubt, yeah, for sure. That, that that brings energy to the team. Um, the thing that I love about this team is that we are a close knit group. You know, um, we are cheering for each other. Um, we do want to win for each other. Um, we sacrifice for each other. Um, and we, you know, that was a heck of a catch. He had two heck of a catches when he went up there and got the ball today. So it's just good to see Russ. You know, just steadily improving, um, get more and more comfortable. And just each week, you know, he comes up with a big catch. Um, every week, so um, that was definitely you know some big plays that he made. Um, but you know, as a defense, we got to do a better job of you know getting some stops so that you know we can get the ball over there to our offense and you know see some more big plays by um, Matt and, and Russ. Uh, you, you know, you just got to believe, believe in the process, believe in the teammates, believe in the coaches, um, believe in the game plan. And, um, you know, like you said, it, it, the mood is sour right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm upset, you know, because I feel like, you know, we kind of let one get away. We didn't play the way that we needed to play. We haven't played the way that, you know, we played over the last um, uh, several weeks. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, today is the day and tomorrow is tomorrow. And tomorrow... You know, I'm going to be ready to go. I'm going to be ready to lead. Um, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that we can put ourselves in position um, to win next week because that's what it's about the next day.